Yo, what's up, guys? So we're gonna be playing Expo Queen in the Globe Tournament today. We're currently 15 and 0 with it, and in my opinion, definitely the best variant of Expo in the meta right now. In fact, I'm probably gonna switch from Archers to Queen on ladder just because of how broken the the Queen is right now. It's just better in like pretty much every matchup. So we just like a log. Also, like there's a lot of decks that just hard time on Expo that you kind of need Queen or else you're not gonna win. Uh, so we can cycle cannon like that. It's not sure what this is gonna be. Uh, I guess cannon sees a lot in like raw hogs EQ. Oh gosh, that's looking like what it's gonna be. So not the best matchup. I just think queen is better though. In this matchup than archers, so I'm just gonna keep using it. Since you have like a, a higher chance of getting your expo to lock, just because like your queen can DPS their delivery. And their cannon stuff really fast. So let's go with Luscious Barrier here. Should be fine dealing with this. And don't know why he's gonna give us the hog emote. So I guess we'll actually I'm gonna skeletons that fire spirit. And we'll queen the back of this. Look at hogs and I can okay, that was like a very interesting earthquake. I don't really think it was the correct play on his end. So I'm gonna go Expo now. He doesn't have his EQ in cycle, so he might as well. I'm gonna save my Fireball, because he might go Archer Queen or something. Okay, I'm gonna go... Oh, wow, Ar Archer Queen actually ended up killing his. But either way, Fireball will end up finishing off his delivery. And I feel like he doesn't have too much Elixir in hand to defend off our Expo. So this is probably already a good game, since like if you get their tower down really low and single, then it's pretty easy to defend and just like log cycle make sure you stay up in damage so we'll probably respond to the east fair and he actually just decides to let it connect why does he even give it up here i'm not sure because he's not like playing anything and yeah it looks like our opponent is going to give up it's a pretty easy win for the first game i'm gonna bother showing the rest of it at least we are able to start off beating the hard counter even though we really played like really bad just when earth we got literally nothing but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. Alright, so we're gonna be against Manuel here from Team 2C. And he's gonna give us a good luck. Hopefully we don't get like hard countered again like the last game. So we're gonna start off cycling log on the right side. See if he decides to play anything. But if not, we'll cycle Queen in the back. I feel like it's pretty safe to cycle your Arch Queen in the back. Uh, I see like Aragon do it a lot in single, so I don't really I think it's a, a punishing play. So we'll go knight like this. Forge ice quiz. Alright, this is probably like graveyard if I had to guess. Because he has the ice quiz in Inferno Drag. But it's like Lumberjack Balloon. Doesn't run Ice Wizard. So yeah, this is for sure gonna be Graveyard Freeze. Uh which should be like a pretty good match for me. Okay, I don't know why he decided to go in there, or else I wouldn't have done my Tesla up high like that by the way i don't think we're gonna take like too much damage all right yeah log kind of kind of clutched up for us there but still not sure why he went that aggressive in single and he's supposed to deal with our knight i might go to yeah i'll just go queen now possibly go for an offensive expo if he cycles like valve in the back because then our queen will be able to dps his his baller down pretty fast. So I'm gonna go in anyways. Since like we have the ability. We're just gonna get a lot of value against whatever he uses. Just gonna use it now. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude, it's not Dude, I was suddenly clicking it like 20 times and it didn't even use the ability. I don't even know if that's a glitch or not. Um yeah, that was weird. By the way, we're gonna need to get a ton of damage here, so I'm not gonna complain. I probably could have like taken this whole tower if my ability would actually work. And okay, I was kind of afraid he would go for a last second freeze. And I'm gonna expo same lane. He's gonna like bait out a card. So he has to like, waste his ice wizard into that. And I'll try to protect here. I don't know if I get my skeletons down or not. Alright, looks like we can't. But he's gonna go like, kind of overcommit with the freeze anyways. And alright, Tesla's locked on his bow, which is nice. Go ahead and pop the ability so we can kill everything here. And he has to deal with our Arch Queen as well. So we can cycle my Tesla. 
I'm gonna go x build because he cycled back to his bowler already. And I kinda doubt he'll go for graveyard. Okay, Ice Wiz, that's gonna be a free fireball for me. So I don't know why you're like playing the back like that. Okay, an Archer Queen on defense. I don't know why you like spam Valk the bridge into my test floor. So just gonna wait for that to die and then go in with an offensive X bow. He plays his bow over there. Wait, can I hit the US as well with the fireball? I think I can. And as long as the Expo can lock on my defense tower, yeah, it's gonna be a good game. So as I said, like, pretty easy matchup, even with Queen, which I think is a little bit worse against the Graveguard. Because there's more Elixir, and it doesn't, like, shoot as fast as the Skeletons. So we're gonna be up against, uh, this Asian guy from the Clan, Jess. And we should go E-Spirit back to start off, because it's, like, the cheapest card we have in hand. So he's gonna ban it. Alright, kinda hoping this is... Pekka Bridge Band because it's one of the best matchups for Expo. And let's see, it's gonna be Pekka. I'm not gonna Expo opposite though because I feel like they can sometimes get away with like ignoring your Expo and like tower trading. And I know like I can win even if I don't get you know, a whole lot, I lock the whole game. I can still win against Pekka, so I don't really want to take that risk in single. So it's East Spirit away. So our Tesla like, can finish everything off. Um, also, I feel like Archer Queen is even better in this matchup than Archer's because like, I'm gonna expo because that was like a really aggressive zap, so I feel like he's not gonna have like, too much elixir for this expo, and that was uh, probably zero elixir rare matter. You just log that and it's gonna die. Yeah, like normally Pachydex run Fireball Zap, which doesn't actually kill an Archer Queen, it'll have like 1 HP. So that's why I think Archer Queen is even better against Pekka Bridge Pim. But even with Archer, it's, like a, it's a pretty free matchup anyways. It looks like we're almost going to take his tower, so... Probably a good game already. We just have to defend him off for like... Minute 30. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, he's going to pack out of the back with Archer Queen. Set up for the defense. Just have to be careful not to like place my Tesla too close to the Queen. In case he wants to try to fireball it or something. But I think we should be fine here. It's gonna stick on my Tesla low, use the ability, just so we can DPS the packet down a bit. So we're gonna go log on his E Wiz. I might have to watch out for like a battle ram on the right. If he does decide to like spam us here. But our Tesla's still like 1 HP. He's gonna ram out of the, the back. Probably goes in with the uh, pack out the bridge here. Because like. Oh no, maybe he didn't even have a pack and say cool. But still like a, a pretty aggressive lightning and didn't really do anything. Fire matter's dead, band is dead. Alright, yeah, 52 HP. We should have to like take one more log in this tower. And we should be able to win. And he's definitely gonna try to go in here because there's 30 seconds left. And he can't like build a pack of push in the back. He's gonna Tesla up high in the anti-lightning position. He's gonna pull his drum out as well. Let's be just East Spirit. Um, he's gonna knight up high. I don't really care if his drum out gets one, one charge on our tower. Because it's not gonna do like, that much damage. And yeah, it's gonna be another like really good match for us. It's not exactly like Pekka Bridge Bam because it has drum matter, but pretty similar variant. Alright, so the game's gonna put us at 18 and 0. So we're looking actually pretty solid right now. And we found a match here against OPL. Um Okay, let's go skeleton so back. See if he's had to make any any crazy starting plays. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna cycle my log. Tombstone. So like most likely Lava Hound, but possibly like Graveyard as well. Could be that. Mm, okay, Prince. Yeah, I have no idea what this is gonna be. If he, if he has a big spell, he'll probably play it now. My Archer Queen. Okay, yeah. So this might actually be E Giant because he does have the Lightning, and I don't really know any Lava deck that has Lightning or or Graveyard deck. So my money is on E Giant, which I'm fine with because it's still like a it's a good match for Expo. I think it's a little bit worse when I have a queen because you have to be a lot more careful about how you're spacing out your troops on defense. 
since they can win if they get like a one really good lightning off hitting your Tesla and your queen but in this case I don't know why he went e-giant there because there's like no way he would have enough elixir to play lightning anyways and to be honest you can probably just expo now and, and get a lot of damage since we can use the queen ability and wait so I can actually kill his archer queen all right nice yeah this is gonna be tower down I think he doesn't have like any elixir in hand or it's gonna be close to tower down yeah, it's not gonna completely take 99 HP. Yeah, he didn't even like get any damage on either of our two towers. So once again, we just have to defend him off for like one more minute, and we should be good to go. So he's gonna cycle Prince to back. Which knight? He probably won't eat on the bridge because he wouldn't have enough relation to lightning it on um, my Tesla when I played it. So he's going Archie Queen up high, so we can against the princes he will lightning that he's gonna force me to, to play my knight but i still don't think we're gonna really be down that much elixir since he didn't overspend when like both princes the bridge and lightning so we'll queen up high it's kind of what you want to do uh, you don't really want to use your arch queen in the back because by the time it walks up uh they can lightning both your queen and your tesla on offense so there's a lot of matchups like especially if they have lightning uh, not just in the e giant matchup, but you want to like play your queens up high. So we'll fireball. Um, we don't have the prince, but I think it's fine. Let's go skellies. And log should end up killing the arch queen, I, I think. Okay, no, it's gonna have like 1 HP. So it's knight like this. And yeah, it's gonna lightning, but it's not really gonna do anything. Fireball finishes off the game. I said, like, you have to be a little bit careful, but it's still a really good match for Expo if you, if you play how you're, like, supposed to. Okay, so unfortunately, we did drop a game to a glitch. Like, my Tesla didn't didn't place, like, where I wanted it to. Like, for some reason, it shifted a tile, even though I obviously placed it, like, in a spot where it would pull the balloon. Uh, it was, like, it was, like, a really weird interaction that definitely should not have happened. But yeah, I just pretty much lost my tower to a lumberjack balloon. Um, but we're gonna... Unfortunately, we can't get the, the 20 and 0 clickbait. We'll also try our best here just to get 20 and 1. It'll be a decent record for the GT so far. So we'll pop the queen ability. And he did just pretty much like spend his whole elixir bar on the other side. So yeah, it doesn't have anything to finish off our queen. So we're actually able to get quite a lot of damage. And this is looking like uh, just Lava Miner probably without a Balloon if I had to guess. Because like if he has a uh, Skeleton King, it's probably not Lava Loon. As well as like all these Fireball Bait. Ooh, that was like not the Tombstone he was looking for. Did not even distract for our Expo. So I guess we'll just go with Knight for his Flying Machine. Actually, probably would have been better just to... Uh, play Skeleton's E-Spirit because it's one less elixir But I still think it's fine We might be down a few because we went like pretty aggressive there and also had to Spend a night on defense, but if he goes Lava Hound Queen like pretty much carries on defense, so we should be okay All right, yeah The only thing is you can like obviously stack heroes Whereas if you have archers then you can uh, Get back to another set but just because the queen has like a really solid DPS, um, it's, it's typically pretty easy to send off their lava pushes. So a knight like this, he might queen alive or uh, deal with all his support here. And okay, actually, some of the lava pups are gonna all be alive. So he's gonna go to late Tesla, and I'm gonna expo now because I don't really want him to lava the bridge or anything when we don't have our Tesla in cycle. So he's gonna do that. I'm gonna fireball. He did the, the flying machine as well as the skeleton king. And all right, he has to play skelly drags as well. So I'm gonna queen uh, kind of down low since I can take damage on this side. It's not really gonna matter too much since yeah, those skeleton dragons are gonna pretty much even it out. We'll go expo since we do have our uh, queen ability ready. So okay, actually, I'm gonna tussle this flying machine. We're gonna get our expo to lock here. All right, nice. So ten seconds left. This is probably tower down. Don't catch a miner. But yeah, queen will end up finishing it off. 
So yeah, I think like all these games have been pretty short. So even though he's gonna make five games in a video, probably only like 15 minutes. I think all the games were three minutes long. So yeah, there we go, 20 and one with a few days left to go in the GT. We're actually the same record as SK, uh, which is funny. He's also a really good expert player. You should check, check out his channel, SK underscore 555. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.